soca de <risos> Barber for today is uh, Dan. Hi Dan, how are you? Okay, and the customer is from why you're wearing the US? Are you wearing? Are you US? I'm wearing for the US guys on this trip. All oh, right, okay. So his name is uh, Maurice Griffiths. He's from uh, UK. Uh -huh. I say to hi, say hi to our fans. Hey guys. Okay. So uh, actually, Maurice is our uh, client for uh, this time for this project, but uh, he works with us before with the same company, so we knew Maurice very well. Dan, what is your uh, a real uh, job description on board? Beveling operator. Beveling operator. So Dan, uh, how long have you been uh, uh, doing this uh, stuff, this uh, hair cutting thing? Almost 10 years. Almost 10 years, and everybody was happy, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So uh, for you guys, Actually, here on board, we don't have really a uh, um, official uh, barber shop. So, uh, if somebody asks for a uh, favor to cut their hair, so we just have to uh, improvise maybe anywhere. And uh, just uh, as long as we keep uh, the the waste afterwards and clean it up. And uh, so that's uh, what's happening here. And. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, what's their uh, negotiation or how much they're gonna. <laughs> we can't say, we can't touch my no. Uh, okay. It, it depends, uh, Mawa. If uh, you're happy, you're gonna pay him. If yeah, not. Maybe, maybe I don't, eh? Uh, you, maybe you don't. <laughs> so, maybe if you're not happy, you can have this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, just a side note, you know, uh, Maurice was also a uh, martial artist, he's a pra martial art practitioner uh, for a long time and uh, also a very close friend of mine. And uh, he actually uh, studied the art of uh, Filipino martial arts, which is the uh, uh, Kali or uh, Eskrima. And uh, he also went to the Philippines uh, one time to uh, uh, train with our uh, Yes. Uh, masters from the Philippines and also uh, discover the beauty of our country the Philippines and also he also immersed on the uh, ma the art of Filipino stick fighting which is the Arnes Scream Makali okay so uh, how uh, Ma, how was your experience back in the Philippines when you were there yeah when you were in the in Cebu when you yeah nice beautiful yeah very nice work. I was there before COVID hit. All right. Or just as COVID hit. And uh, so you, I got out just in time. You train with uh, stick fighting there, st stick fighters with uh, in the Philippines, yeah. Yes. Okay. How long was the training then? Two weeks. I was there. Two weeks. And how is it goes? Two weeks in Cebu. Very good. Very good. And then on to uh, San Francisco Bay. Islands. Ah, really? So I heard that uh, you train with uh, different grandmasters back there. Yeah. Yeah. You can name some of them. You remember? Well, I was mainly training with uh, Grandmaster Felix Cortez from America, and a lot of the American guys, uh, a lot of the Filipino guys. Uh, Nick Alizar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was uh, uh, was he in from the Balintewak? Is it? Yes, Balintewak. And how good is it when you when you were hit with him? Yeah, I like it's uh, more close combat. Master, I like it. Uh -huh. Who else? Danny Cassio, GM Danny Cassio. Oh, really? Mama. All ah, right. Hey, you can you can greet him uh, if uh, maybe I got uh, have a chance to talk to him uh, when I get back home. Yeah. Cool. 
And I went across to the Dawson Palace School in Seville. Cool. Well, I just went there for the day to meet up with uh, GM, Caniete. senior GM, Dion. Caniete. Dion. 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 Yeah. yeah. And uh, who else? Nick. A hell of a lot. Yeah, GM Nick, also Balinta Wak. Mm -hmm. Under the Russian House Philippines. Yeah. And it was, uh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Very good. Food was good, company was good, nice weather. Mm. What do you like here more? Uh, so then, uh, don't you have any uh, plan of uh, making a uh, uh, beauty parlor uh, business in back in the Philippines? Someday. Yeah, someday. Okay. It should be uh, maybe two or three uh, shops you're gonna make, yeah? Because you have these kind of skills and uh, it's much better that you implement it uh, as a business, you know, back in the Philippines. You know, not all the time that I will be uh, healthy uh, working on shore, uh, offshore. Okay, so we have seen, uh, we just uh, witnessed uh, moral support here from his. Uh, British colleague, <laughs> it's okay if I can't hear it in this, uh, in this film. It's too late now. It's too late now. No, just, just, <laughs> no, no. Okay, uh, so we just witnessed, we just witnessed a uh, moral support from uh, our uh, next audience, which is also our client, which is uh, John. Uh, hi, John. Uh, how are you? How you doing? You good? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, so you're, uh, you're from... Uh, I'm from the UK. Whereabouts? Uh, London, North London. London, so say... Uh, uh, but now you're currently, I hear you're currently uh, staying at uh, Thailand, is it? Yes, so I've been in Thailand for the last 20 years. Yeah, so, but uh, I also uh, learned that they also went to the Philippines before. Yes, I was there last year, 2019, in um, Alaman. Before Manila. COVID, yeah? Before COVID. And yes. how was your experience back there? It was good. Nice, was good. friendly. Um, obviously, I didn't get to see much. Um, I know it's a beautiful country, but I was stuck in Alaman studying and in the classroom every day. But uh, from what I saw, it was a lovely country. Okay. Yeah, um, a colleague here, Jeffrey, is doing another channel, Accidental Seaman. Um, click on like and subscribe, and you can catch up on all the news for you know the guys that work in the industry all around the world, not just on cruise ships, but obviously offshore platforms, pipeline vessels, uh, fishing vessels, tankers. You know. Uh, so yeah, like and subscribe this page and get some more information. So there you have, uh, guys. Uh, we're lucky today that our customer was. Uh, uh, since a Maurice Griffiths uh, from the UK and actually is uh, living now, currently living in uh, Thailand. And our um, her cutter or barber was uh, Dan, uh, also a very good friend of mine. Uh, for the information, everybody, that uh, currently we are inside the recreation area. So, this is our recreation area. There you go. So, you happy with your haircut now? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Another uh, happy customer. Cheers, bye bye. Yeah.